go here. Please make a course turning FM in six months. So, if only it were that easy, I can give you general advice. You, 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 you could be next, Navy, please. You can be next, don't worry. Um, I can give you my general advice, which is, I think the most key word for improving in chess and playing your best chess is immersion. Being like immersed in the game and like thinking about it and understanding it. But like consuming as much chess as possible, right? So for me, I think what helped a lot in that push was just how much I loved the game, regardless of the outcome necessarily of each game, right? Or otherwise like you go into it very, very stressed. But I love the game so much that I was doing tactics or even just watching Daniel Naroditsky. It's just incredible channel, super educational stuff. Uh, can I play your d4? This is a three at some moment. Hang on, hold, I'm holding that thought for one second. Um, it was like watching TV. It was like playing video games. It was just something I genuinely wanted to do, right? And so it's not like, okay, oh man, I have to do my 30 minutes of chess today, right? It was like, I really loved the game. And so I was just like, I wanted to do my tactics. I wanted to increase my tactics rating. I wanted to improve my understanding there. I wanted to play. And then after I played, this is the most key part. This is what everyone doesn't do. Playing doesn't improve you that much. Analyzing your games, going through your mistakes, that's what makes you better, right? So like, like playing itself, you're, you're like, like, what do you learn? How, how do you know what to do better next time? You know, like you have, what feedback do you have there, right? You, like you have the result. Um, that's not, not a ton, right? Sorry, I'm just thinking here about chess. This is interesting. Not sure what's going on here. There's a lot of stuff in the middle. Um, so yeah, I think I kind of lost my chain of thought a little bit, but I think that's pretty much what I wanted to say. E3, that's a nice move actually I have here. Cause this, I'm winning a piece. I'm winning a piece here. Take, and then I take this as well. What age did I start? I learned the rules at like three or four <laughs> and I played my first tournament at like five. So I started very early. I started very, very early and yeah, I mean, that, that was helpful to some extent. My mind was elastic. Yeah, what I did before that was Connect 4, uh, which I think is really good precursor to chess. I think Connect 4 is like chess times 0.15 or 0.2. Um, because, yeah, the, exactly. The pattern recognition in Connect 4 is big. I would play against myself and make my own opening theory, like of the first few moves. You know, like uh, controlling certain diagonals, etc. Um, pattern recognition, understanding of the board, and of course, at a certain point, it's all calculation, right? Like you need to calculate to eventually put your opponent in zugzwang, for lack of a better word. Uh, good game, Jim Jam. Yeah, let's go through it. So here we have the Vienna stuff, and yeah, it's saying F four is too ambitious, like you said. I know F four is an idea in the Vienna, but I guess it's like here I have D five in one move. Right, and typically it like would take like at least two, right? So, but d5 in one move, I guess, is that is the reason f4 is bad. It's because I can strike very quickly, and now I have this pin, and my knights are playing, and your king's not out of the center yet. So the the opening in the middle of the board favored me, and yeah. So I guess the issue with castles now, my idea was yet to take this. Oh, there's d4 in this moment. Didn't see this. Then my knight is hit. See, that's a new idea, right? Something I picked up here is that instead of just automatic moves and automatic recaptures, right? There's like this move DE4, which hits this knight, which was like defending the bishop critically. Now these both, both are hanging and that's you know, maybe something I implement in my games. Um, but yeah, DE4 changes everything. Because of course, this is just completely winning because of the pin in this position. I, I have the engine on, of course. So bishop D2, but then this move E3 um, completely negates bishop D2. Like you got to go back or something, right? And then take, I'm just up a piece here. Uh, yeah, we both missed this move to e4. So that was the saving grace. Castles. I mean, saying they c3 is strong, but yeah, this d4. Zing. OK. 